Here we have some problems that involve the Pythagorean theorem and then solving a quadratic. Let's take a look at this first one. It says one leg of a right triangle is four inches longer than the other leg. The hypotenuse is 20 inches long. So let's just make a little sketch of that. So there's our right triangle. We've got a hypotenuse of 20. And then the other two sides are the legs. We'll call the short one x. And that's good because we're going to want to find that, so we'll solve for x at the end. And the other one is 4 inches longer, so we'll call that x plus 4. Now, the Pythagorean theorem, as you'll remember, is a squared plus b squared equals, whoops, equals c squared, <clears throat> where c is the hypotenuse. So all we have to do is plug these values in to the Pythagorean theorem and then solve the quadratic that results. So instead of a squared, we'll put in x squared. Instead of b squared, we'll put in x plus 4 quantity squared, and c squared is 20 squared. So we've got x squared plus, and we'll multiply this out, we get x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals 400. We'll combine our like terms, and we'll get everything over on the left here to set this equal to 0. So we've got 2x squared plus 8x, and that would be minus 384 equals 0. And let's see, I can take a 2 out of everything, so let's go ahead and do that. Divide both sides by 2. x squared plus 4x minus 192 equals 0. And here, you know, uh, if you can figure out how to factor this one, it does factor. Uh, I would say with these problems, if you want to go online and use a quadratic equation calculator or just uh, plug it into the uh, quadratic formula, any way you want to solve, this is great. It does factor to x plus 16 and x minus 12. So our two possible answers are x equals negative 16 and x equals 12. And since we're talking about the length of something, the negative answer doesn't really make sense. So x equals 12, that is the shorter side. All right, let's take a look at one more. This one says the sides of a right triangle are x, x plus 1, and x plus 2 units long. Some of you probably will know the answer to this just by looking at that, but let's go ahead and solve this. So we've got x, x plus 1, and the hy hypotenuse is going to be x plus 2. And they want us to find the side lengths of the triangle by solving for x. So let's go ahead and put this in the form of the Pythagorean theorem. We'll have x squared plus x plus 1 squared equals x plus 2 squared. And then we just have to multiply all this out, to combine the results, set it equal to 0, and solve the quadratic. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got our x squared plus x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals x squared plus 4x plus 4. And let's see here. This x squared and this x squared can go away. We'll have x squared minus 2x over here minus 3 equals 0. And then I think we can factor this, so that's x minus 3 and x plus 1. And we get x equals 3, or x equals negative 1. And of course, a negative uh, length of a side of a triangle doesn't make sense. So 3 is our answer, and we have 3, and then th 3 plus 1 is 4, and 3 plus 2 is 5. We've got a 3, 4, 5 triangle. And that is the answer, 3 four, and five for the sides of the triangle. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.